Hello everybody, my name is Adovan Bast and in this video I will try to give you an overview over the automated testing lesson which is part of a co-definary workshop. And why do we teach automated testing? Um, because writing tests and using automated testing services is often part of a development process especially for codes which are larger than a simple script. So we wish to give learners the tools so that they can rewrite the codes, refactor the codes and collaborate on a code project with more confidence. Testing can help detecting regressions during development instead of later. So when using the code or, or too late when the results are already published. Testing can also simplify collaboration since new contributors can be more confident that their changes preserve uh, expected functionality. Tests can help as a documentation. They can document the intent of a function or a module or a library or the entire code. And what is particularly important for me is that tests help me to guide the code towards more modular and reusable code style with fewer side effects. Because a code with fewer side effects is easier to test automatically. So the intended learning outcomes of this lesson are knowledge that to know that in every language there are tools which can execute a series of test functions and report whether this was successful or whether there was a failure. We would like participants to know that services like GitHub Actions and Travis CI and GitLab CI and AppBayer and many others that they allow us to automatically run tests on every time we get push or every time we receive a pull request or merge request. We would like participants to be able to approach a function or a module or a library and design a test for it in words or in a pseudocode. Also to know what, what is the meaning of a test coverage, what does it mean? And how can it help us to detect code that is unused or untested? And finally, we would also like learners to be able to know where in a larger existing and untested project, where to start introducing the these tests, because it is beyond reach and also probably not reasonable to, to test everything. And often we start already in an existing project which does not have tests. We typically start this lesson by asking questions. And in fact, we often start with a rather provocative question where we ask participants whether they agree with a statement that uh, simulations and analysis with uh, untested software that it would not constitute science. And we discuss this statement and we ask participants whether they test their code. And if they do, how do they test it? And when do they test it? And where would participants start adding a test in, a, in an existing project? We also ask participants in which situations would they recommend not to add any tests? Then the lesson is structured that we discuss different concepts. We briefly discuss various tools. And then we exercise first locally on our laptops and we take Python as an example. We exercise with PyTest. Then we introduce a, a local Git hook, a, a pre-commit hook, and we couple it with, with automated testing with a test script. And after we have done that, then we move to a service 
So these days we we use GitHub Actions, where we set up a test project. We set up a GitHub Action that runs PyTest, and then we collaborate within a group on a project. We open an issue, uh, and then we solve one issue by restoring a test and also referencing the issue uh, and the commit that uh, resolves the test. So we exercise a bit a typical collaborative workflow where pull requests or merge requests are coupled with automated testing. And we discuss how, discuss how that can be helpful for collaboration. But I would also like to mention that, of course, this lesson has room for improvement. So there are a couple of problems. Uh, the lesson is too Python centric because the examples are uh, now in, in Python. It would be nice to offer examples and exercises also for learners who use different languages like R, C++, MATLAB. Currently the lesson is a bit in the discipline domain because we talk that it's you know a good thing to do testing uh, for the quality of the code. But it would be nice if we manage to really show that it can improve the productivity of the researcher and of the student. And another room for improvement would be uh, that we give we try to give a more balanced view and also discuss situations where automated testing is not needed. So it is it should not be only a one-sided message. And finally, we have a really nice episode at the end of the lesson, which is about test design. And it is also it's definitely it's Python specific, so it would be nice to offer something in different languages, mm -hmm. but this is a nice lesson that we often have to skip for time reasons, but then we leave learners without giving them, uh, without practicing really how to approach testing in an existing real life project. So really looking forward to hear your suggestions on how we can improve this lesson. Thank you for listening and watching.